let's discuss about the atoms and the periodic table <coughs> uh, first we'll start with the elements an element is a pure substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by a chemical reaction so there are 118 elements known and out of that 90 <coughs> are naturally occurring and remaining 28 have been prepared by the scientists and the labs <coughs> each element is <coughs> identified by a uh, one or two letter symbol for example um, let's take the examples of carbon carbon is uh, one letter symbol if you have chlorine two letter symbols if it is one letter then it has to be uppercase and if the two letters then the second one has to be the lowercase <coughs> now elements uh, uh, so here they are arranged in a very organized way <coughs> uh, in the periodic table they are not just randomly placed in the periodic table the position of the element in the periodic table uh, tells us a lot about its chemical properties so if you look at this particular here uh, this color coded periodic table here the elements in the periodic table are divided into three categories metals non-metals and metalloids now metals they are <coughs> shaded as green, non-metals as blue, and metalloids as yellow or orange. Now, what are metals? Metals are shiny substances that conduct heat and electricity. They can be drawn into wires, they can be hammered into shapes. Uh, <coughs> And most of the metals are solids except mercury, which is a liquid. <clears throat> and if you look, most of the metals, the green in color, they are on the, metals are on the left side of the periodic table. Non-metals are on the right side of the periodic table, except one, this hydrogen, which is on the left, left side. So non-metals are, <clears throat> they do not have a shiny appearance. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Um, non-metals, <clears throat> if you, we think about them, they're liquids or gases. Uh, there is only sulfur and uh, <clears throat> carbon, which are solid at room temperature. And bromine is a liquid. I mentioned it here. Bromine is a liquid. And other nitrogen, oxygen, and all other elements are gases. <coughs> Metalloids, if you see, they are placed in between metals and non-metals. So that means their properties must are intermediate between metals and non-metals. There are seven elements that are categorized as metalloids, boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, SP is antimony, TE tellurium, AT acetate. <clears throat> now, another classification of the <clears throat> periodic table uh, I should not say that it's a classification I'm gonna say uh, it's like more about talking about the periodic table explaining about the <clears throat> periodic table um, so <clears throat> here 
this is known as the one again you are looking at it is the modern periodic table where the elements are arranged based on the increasing atomic number <clears throat> and we will discuss this in atomic number later um, so this modern periodic table here the elements or the periodic table is arranged into horizontal rows these are horizontal rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are seven horizontal rows these horizontal rows are known as periods and there are 18 vertical columns and these are vertical columns are known as groups the elements in the same group have same or similar electronic and chemical properties very important point <coughs> now Let's talk about main group elements. So here, let me erase this for a second to show you main group elements. So these long columns here, one A, two A, 3a, 4a, 5a, 6a, 7a, and 8a. These big columns. They are known as main group elements. And so there are two columns on the left side and six on the right. And these in the middle here, these elements, they are known as transition elements. And these separate two rows here, they are known as inner transition elements. There are specific names for these inner transition elements. The first row here, they are lanthanides. And the second row is actinides. <coughs> Other than that, this group 1A here, they are also known as alkali metals. Group 2A here, alkaline earth metals. Group 7A, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. They are known as halogens. And the last one, group 8A, they are known as noble gases. <coughs> So based on the information that uh, I <coughs> provided, uh, you should be able to fill up the <coughs> this table. For example, the first one, what is hydrogen? H. Is it a metal, non-metal or a metalloid? Here is hydrogen. Let me uh, change the color here is blue hydrogen is the only element that is on the left side but it's a non-matter okay and i forgot to tell you one thing that these uh, <clears throat> here these elements here in the first and second a group they are known as s block elements from here to here Third A to eighth A are known as P block. In the middle, these short column transition elements are D block. And here, inner transition are F block elements. <clears throat> y, S, P, D, F, that you will see it soon. Now, there is only one thing that these P block elements, but there is helium here that is still S block element. So then we come back here, hydrogen, and that is a 
S block element. Main group, transition, inner transition. So my here main group are basically all these big columns. So all my S and P, look these big columns, they are main group elements. So if you're writing S or P here, that means this will definitely be main group. Any particular group name for hydrogen? So hydrogen is in the first A group. First A group elements are known as alkali metals. But we do know that hydrogen is not a metal. It's a non-metal. So that means there will be no specific group name. <coughs> Let's do the next one. Helium was the symbol. H-E. Is it a metal, non-metal, or a metalloid? It's blue in color here, non-metal. SPDF, and we already said helium is S block. It's in the eighth A group. Eighth A group elements are known as noble gases. And which should go here not here but what is it this is a main group element so let me change it let me put a main group here because all all s and p are main group and here we should put noble gases <coughs> so i'm going to pause the video and you try to fill this up and then I'm going to uh, enter all the answers and show it to you. So these are the answers. <coughs> uh, match these answers with your answers and let me know uh, if you have any questions.